Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 16 of my Juventus Career Mode. Now, today could be the very last episode of the Juventus Career Mode, or it could be uh, the penultimate episode. I'm not really too sure yet, to be honest, because I've got this Champions League game to play, um, three more league games, which I'll probably just sim, to be honest, I don't really need to play them, and then I've got the Tim Cup final against Roma, and then if I was to get through into the final, then I've got the final of the Champions League as well. So there's not many games left at all. I can reveal now that the next career mode will be with Leicester City. That got the most amount of votes, and uh, that will be coming out in maybe the next few days, something like that, Monday, something ar around uh, that sort of date. Uh, that's when the first episode will be out, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let's go on with this episode now. If you could go hit 20 likes on this video, it'd be really appreciated. Also, don't forget to go subscribe as well if you haven't already. Now then, let's get on with this game against Juventus, sorry, not Juventus, against PSG, uh, as Juventus, and um, again, it's one I'm not really too sure whether I should play or not, um, I definitely think that, you know, obviously PSG are a very good team, we won the first leg 1-0, we got ourselves an away goal, part of me wants to sim this game so that I can play the two finals in this episode, and we can end the series here, that is what I'm hoping to try and do, but it's a huge risk, obviously, um, to sim a game against PSG with them having such a strong team, I am going to go ahead and risk it though. Um, we are going to go with that team that I've got there. You can pretty much see everyone. I think Morata starts up front. And other than that, you can see the rest of them. We are going to submit, not through the calendar. We are just going to submit through here. Uh, because at least we kind of know what's going on throughout the game. I'm hoping though, well, I mean, we've just gone 1-0 up. I'm hoping we can get ourselves a good result here. We've gone 1-0 up through Quadrado. Now 30 minutes in, still just winning by the one goal. Hopefully get a second at some stage in this game. Into the second half now. Pastore equalises, gets them an away goal. This could be where the uh, tie completely turns. 20 minutes left. Mandzukic makes it 2-1. We needed that. We absolutely needed that. Can we win the game? We have done. We're into the final of the Champions League. Don't worry, I will be playing that. I know a lot of people like to see the games played rather than simmed. Sometimes I just have to sim them, otherwise next episode would be just one game. It wouldn't really make much sense. Um, but yeah, we are now going to go ahead and sim the next um, three matches in the league and basically just sim up until... Um, the Champions League final, I think it'll be, or maybe the Roma game, depending on which approach is first. As you can see, it's Arsenal and the Champions League. Wow, what a huge game that'll be. I'm just going to sim up to the Champions League final, and then um, we'll also quickly check on the results that I've just got from those games. Okay, so we are simming to the final, and let's have a quick look how we got on. Won that game 2-1, we've also beat a Lazio 2-0, and we won against Sampdoria 3-0. So really good end to the season. We've won the league. We've got ourselves under the trophy. Can we cap it off by winning everything else possible? Well, we've got Sandro returning from injury, which is great news. 14.4 million from winning um, the Serie A. And we have some more prize money. Yes, 5 million for getting through to the next round of the Champions Cup. So we've got this game against Arsenal now. I will change around the team, and this time we will play the match. And this is it. This is the Champions League final team that I'll be playing with against Arsenal. Basically, it's the team you probably expect. Sandro, I've risked in this game uh, with Chiellini, Regani, and Aura um, all starting in defence. Buffon obviously starts in goal, but we've got Marquezio and Pogba in front of them. Lucas on the left, Texteri on the middle, and Quadrado on the right with the baller up front. That's the bench I've gone with. Pretty strong bench as well. Asimo is on there for like a, a centre-mid option because Kadira is out suspended. So he misses the Champions League final. I'm sure he's very annoyed about that one. But let's go on with this game now. Hopefully get ourselves a win in the Champions League final. And uh, yeah, see how he gets on against Arsenal. Here we go. This is the team we're coming up against. It's not actually the greatest team. Debushi starts, which is a bit of a strange run. Matuidi is in the side, however. And Danny Welbeck is up front. So... Bit of a strange Arsenal team, but other than that, I suppose it is their strongest team. We are at the Allianz Arena, so it's a big stadium, this one, for the Champions League final. And I'm just hoping now we can get a result. Uh, but more importantly, I suppose, play well. I want us to have a good performance here in the Champions League final, because we need it against a team like Arsenal. They're not like a Bayern Munich or anything like that, but obviously Arsenal are still a good side. So uh, we do need to put in a good performance here and hopefully just have a bit of possession early on, like we are. Into their half, and Tec oh, Texter nearly scores actually. There, I wasn't expecting that sort of shot. That's what put me off a little bit. Um, but we have just lost possession there after a good start. Lucas has won it back, and I think he's won it back off Koscielny, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Dybala cuts inside anyway. Can he lay it off into Marquezio? Oh, off the bar, and Murtasaka heads away, and Matuidi will just smack that one out in the hope of getting um, them out of the pressure that they're under. 
I've had a really good start to this game though so far. Quadrado is running through here. It was a great move. Quadrado. Oh, just hits it wide. Should do better there, really. We've got the passing going really well in this first half so far. Just coming to the end of the first half. But um, I think we are definitely deserve it to be in the lead. We've not had loads of chances. But we've definitely played a better football. And that is it for the first half. We are still running the game 0-0. I want to call it a boring game, this one. We have had a decent amount of the ball. But obviously the possession doesn't show that. Uh, but when we have had the ball, we've definitely done quite a bit with it. Uh, but I just think we might need to change on the formation slightly here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe add a little bit more height into the team. Uh, and that means I'm going to have to sacrifice a player. Uh, that player might well be Texera, but I'm not too sure. To be honest, what, what else I'm going to do? I think it's going to be Lucas coming off. I'm going to change it around like this. Texera is going to play on the left-hand side. Lucas will come off. We'll put Dybala down the middle. And then we'll put uh, Morata up front. Hopefully that works out. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Uh, but I'm hoping that that sort of change will help us. Popper through to Morata. Huge gap in the defence. Morata. And he does finish it off as you'd expect. Nine minutes left. 1-0. And we might just have won the Champions League from that. Huge gap in Arsenal's defence. Really poor but brilliant ball through from Popper. And a decent finish there for Morata. 1-0. We might just have won the Champions League from Morata's goal. A substitute as well. Time to make a few changes. I'm going to take off Dybala now. Not long left of this match, but I'm going to do it anyway. Bring on Asamo. Put him on the left-hand side. And we're also going to bring on Ceceres. More of a defensive change, I know. But we're going to go with it anyway. And uh, just to kind of waste a little bit more time. Uh, but also just make a bit more of a defensive team for the last sort of, what, seven minutes and added on time. Marquezio playing through to Morata now then, Quadrado nearly running through, and that is it, we've won the Champions League with Juventus, we've finally done it, tried to do it on the last FIFA with Juventus, and I don't think I was successful in doing it, this time round however, I finally managed to do it, uh, especially on the first time of asking as well, I might well win all the competitions if I was to win the Team Cup as well, I might well win all the competitions possible this year, at the moment, We've done the double, I believe. Uh, maybe the triple. Can't quite remember. But we are doing very well at the moment. What a win that is. Not a, a fantastic win because it was only 1-0. But we played better than them. Uh, we put in a solid performance. And we didn't look particularly shaky in defence. So, very happy with that one. We've won the Champions League, finally. And uh, now let's move on to the Roma game. I won't bother doing any more player development. Because we are coming to the end of the series. But let's move on now to the final game against Roma. And here is the team that we were playing against Roma in the Tim Cup final. Buffon starts in goal, as you'd expect. Lichtenstein comes into the team because Ayora is suspended. Uh, Benussi uh, comes into the side alongside uh, Chiellini. Uh, those two playing at centre-back. Then we've got Alexandra at left-back with Pogba and Kadira playing CDM. Asimov on the left, Texera uh, down the middle. And then we got Baradi on the right with Kingsley Cohen up front. Thought I'd change it around a little bit. Uh, obviously got Dybala and Morata on the bench. That means Mandzukic misses out uh, on getting in, uh, onto the bench and into the squad. Uh, but that is it um, for the team. Let's move on now to the Roma game and hopefully uh, win that cup as well. Here we go. Hoping for a good performance against Roma to finish off the season and the series. Really after uh, quite a few goals in this game. Hoping we can uh, go ahead and get that. But I suppose we have to wait and see. We've started off very well yet again, though, so that's a good sign early on. Coleman through to Texera. Can he pass it across to Pogba? Oh, what a save from Chesney. We couldn't even score the sweaty goal there. We have played really well. We've deserved to be in the lead uh, based on the performance so far. We desperately need to try and find a goal before half-time to uh, kind of settle the nerves down a little bit. Lichtensteiner. Oh, good block. Texera looking for Kingsley Coleman. Can he keep it in? Just about. Now then, can we put in a ball to find... Oh, I think that was Pogba in the middle that came off his back in the end. And that is it for the first half. Still during the game, nil-nil. I might make a few changes here to improve the side. Because we've not been great. We've been okay. Uh, but I still think we can create more chances than what we're currently doing. So I'm going to take off Texera, who has been uh, fairly average, actually, the couple of, uh, last couple of games I've played. I'm also going to bring in Quadrado and take off Baradi, um, who has had his last game for the club, obviously, with us ending the series. Um, but yeah, I hope for those two changes, we'll add some more pace into the side and uh, a little bit better quality uh, player into the side as well. Kadira is running through, he doesn't have a lot of pace, but Dybala's played him through. He's on a brilliant run, Kadira surely gets brought down there, but after the shot, so the referee hasn't given it. Another good chance for us, we're about 60 minutes in now though. Quadrado through to Coleman, another good save from Chesney. We're absolutely all over them at the moment, we just can't seem to find 
that goal uh, to put us in the lead. I'm going to cut it back all the way to the defender, to the baller. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> For those of you questioning why I did that sort of corner, that's exactly why. Get a bit of luck, and Abala has smacked that one into the top left-hand corner. 1-0. That's the bit of quality that we needed. That's the bit of luck that we needed. Look at that. I mean, kind of a fairly average header, but what a strike. Into the top left-hand corner. There's no stopping that. Winning the game 1-0, 65 minutes in. No way. The referee's given a penalty. How is he given a penalty for that? We're going to have to watch the replay back because I wasn't expecting it. For me, this isn't a penalty. I've tried to clear the ball. I'm okay I've taken his legs, but that's automatic. I don't have anything to do with that. I couldn't have stopped it. Anyway, they've got a penalty. Dzeko has come on. Dumbi has just been brought off. Florenzi will take it. Now then, can we save this? Top right, hopefully. No, down the middle. One all, 20 minutes left. I still think we've definitely got enough in the tank to beat Roma. We're going to make our own tactical change, and we're going to bring on Morata. Take off Asamo, who is starting to struggle a little bit with energy. Uh, and we're going to push out uh, Kings coming onto the left-hand side. Dybala stays central, and uh, Morata hopefully can get us something up front. Morata now running down the line. Can he cut it back for Dybala? No, not really. He's still got it, Dybala, though. And again gets intercepted, but Popper, has he still got it? He has! We've scored! Pogba with the goal takes a huge deflection, four minutes left, we've got ourselves a goal in normal time which I wasn't expecting uh, because we were starting to lose possession of the ball, but we do get another, a bit more luck to be honest here, Dybala gets brought down and uh, Pogba just keeps on going, brilliant finish even though it was deflected massively off the defender and into the back of the net, it is 2-1, three minutes to hold on now. And that is it, we've won the Tim Cup as well. Three, sorry, not 3-1, three, 2-1, one, one. we've managed to beat them. Uh, probably could have been three or four, to be honest. We did have quite a lot of decent chances. Seven shots, seven on target, really says it all. Uh, but another brilliant result. And we've won every possible competition this season, which is a great way to finish this, uh, the series, and obviously this season as well. So we've won that competition, and that is going to be it uh, for this series, and obviously for the end of the season as well. Uh, we do have a couple of things to quickly have a look at though. We got uh, 1.8 million for winning that, which doesn't seem a lot, uh, considering we have had quite a few players injured from that competition, which has probably cost us a few points in the league. But anyway, 1.8 million is how much you get for winning it. Uh, we got a few World Cup qualifiers, uh, but I won't be doing those with Brazil, sadly, um, just because I want to be moving on now to the Leicester City career mode and obviously the Leeds career mode as well, which will still be going on. Uh, but that is it for this Juventus square mode. Again, I won't rule out um, returning to Juventus at some stage. Um, but for now, that will be it with Juventus. Thank you everyone with the support um, with obviously relaunching Juventus on this FIFA. Uh, it has been really appreciated. Um, don't forget to leave your suggestions for the Leicester City career mode, like players that you want me to sign in the comments of this video below, um, just so I've got them in time for when I record the first episode. And yes, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If we could go hit 25 likes for the last episode of the Juventus career mode on this FIFA, that'd be really appreciated. And don't forget to go subscribe as well. Thank you for watching and goodbye.